Let's go. Fundamentals of AI in under 10 minutes. What can I teach you in that amount of time? Of course, this will be from the 10,000 foot view. Chapter 1, Introduction to AI. AI receives input. Based on that input, AI produces output. AI also maintains an internal state. We are the same way. This is me. I'm a card-carrying human. I receive input. I have long-term memory that tells me where to go. Most of the time, anyway. Based on that input, I do something. That's output. But what's internal state? Not all AI algorithms have it. Internal state is like short-term memory. I know where I am. Usually, anyway. I hear something. It's a horn. What's my output? That depends. Am I crossing a street? Am I watching an action movie on TV? My response is different. Chapter 2, Normalizing Data. AI takes multiple inputs at the same time. Input is often a number, but not always. One number can overwhelm another. A car might weigh 1,600 kilograms. This same car has four cylinders. What's the fuel efficiency? Is the tiny number of four cylinders insignificant compared to the larger 1,600 kilos? No, both are important. Normalize both to a percent. We must know the maximum weight and cylinders for all cars, so we know the percent. What percent do we have on each? Now they're equal significance, 0 through 100. Chapter 3, Distance Metrics. Our universe has three dimensions. Don't worry about time, it's something different. We can easily calculate the distance between two points on a map. A smart man named Euclid figured this out. The inputs to AI can be thought of as dimensions. We can have many more dimensions than just three. How similar are two things? Find the distance using their dimensions. Their dimensions are their attributes. Distance helps us search. AI is all about search. Chapter 4, K means clustering. If we can find the distance between two data items, we can group them by similarity. How similar are two cars? How similar are two trees? We just need attributes, dimensions, on each of these items. We can then group them into clusters. We know that two items are similar to each other if they have a shorter distance. Chapter 5, Error Calculation. AI might not produce the proper output. But how close is this output? This is rarely a pass-fail proposition. It is important to have a way to grade AI. Chapter 6, Hebb's Rule and the Delta Rule. Hebb's Rule and the Delta Rule allow AI to learn or train. This is learning. Is the glass half full or is it half empty? Hebb's rule reinforces when AI does something right. The delta rule adjusts AI when it does something wrong. Chapter 7, Toward Machine Learning. Many AIs can be thought of as really long formulas. AI training affects long-term memory. Long-term memory is often the numeric coefficients of these long formulas. A coefficient is a constant number multiplied by something. Training adjusts these coefficients to produce better results and lower the error. Chapter 8, Random Numbers. Random numbers are easy to produce in nature. Not so easy to produce by highly logical machines. There are many algorithms for quasi-randomness. Sometimes you want every number to have an equal chance. However, sometimes you want another distribution of random numbers. 
You want more in the middle, fewer at the extremes. Random numbers are very important for AI. A process that uses random numbers is called stochastic. Chapter 9, Hill Climbing. Hill climbing is a very simple form of training. AI's long-term memory, or parameters, can be thought of as dimensions. The better the long-term memory, the lower the error. We want to adjust the dimensions to climb to a better error level. We want to get higher. We want to climb the hill. We look around at our feet. We can't see far in the distance. Which directions takes us higher? And which dimensions must we move? We are searching for better parameters. We want to improve our long-term memory. AI is all about search. We are searching for better parameters. Chapter 10, Linear Regression. Lines can tell us much. We draw lines through data points to bring order to these dots. The line is sloped by a mount. The line is also at a certain location, or intercept. These two are the parameters, or long-term memory, or dimensions, of this line. Training will adjust these parameters to be optimal. Linear regression typically has no short-term memory. Thank you for watching this video. This video is essentially a summary of the material that is going to be in my next book, Artificial Intelligence for Humans, that's the series, Volume 1, Fundamental Algorithms. This cover that you see here is just a prototype. Once the actual book hits the market, you'll probably see a cover that was actually produced by a trained professional rather than me. This book is also part of a Kickstarter project. If you find yourself before July 10th, 2013 in the time-space continuum, then you have a chance to pre-order this book and support this project. There's several options you can buy in at, one of which even gives you a number of my previous books all at a very good price. So I hope you'll think about doing that. There should be a link to the Kickstarter project or to how you can actually buy this book if it's later in time. Um, that link should be right along with this video. Thank you for watching.